Okay, well, these guys call themselves the Flyers, but uh, there seems to be something peculiar about them. Yet, if you notice, they're getting an extra payday with the money left over from the prior match. Mr. Ruder had spread so much money around, the wrestlers in the subsequent match are profiting from it. Well, Keith, very happy to be here on, on commentary with you. It was quite the match I just had with Joe Ruda, but uh, no rules are in the ring. And Donovan and I were commentating on how quickly you recovered. Yes, I, I mean, a big 400-pound Samoan smashing into me was uh, not a great feeling, I'll tell you that. But i got to do my job here at the commentary table. And Donovan and I noticed this rivalry seems far from us. Absolutely, Keith. Anytime Ruta wants to get back in that ring, I definitely want to beat this guy down. I think I showed my superiority as far as power is concerned, and he was able to get the win by cheating. If this was a match being judged on points, they'd already have a couple of points in my book. I agree, Keith. They've got a great name, a great look. LAW Originals are the three team players. And obviously we're in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, which at one time was known as Fintown or Little Norway. But now there's a large, proud Dominican community, and the Plantain players are their guys. They absolutely are. We've got the, uh... We've got the behind-the-scenes commentary cam here tonight. Oh, my, that's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Everybody who's been working for LAW in the commentary table tonight has particularly good hair. Oh, yes. So for example... Donovan, 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 get in here for a second. The commentary cam. You, this guy was the uh, cover boy of Afropunk magazine, Keith. And of course, you and I both have very nice long hair. Okay, the third match in this three-way matchup. Why don't you tell me a bit, a bit about these guys? Well, Keith, these guys are an unknown here in LAW. This is actually their debut match here tonight. Now, I am only familiar with the Fallen in as much as they were the ones who originally tripped me and pulled me out of the ring, which was Ruda's first advantage in that match. I mean, that was very interesting in the prior match. You delivered the Jace Crusher twice. Exactly, Keith. Not once, but twice. One, he was able to get his foot on the rope due to Prince Akhenaten, and the second one, a distraction saved him. But yes, I believe very many Jace Crushers will be in the future for Mr. Ruda. I, 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 I would say the majority of the fans here would hope so. Absolutely, Keith. I'm glad I've got you in my corner. We're very happy to have you here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wait for the uh, bell to ring for this World Tag Team Championship match. We've got the Plantain players. We've got the... The normals. the normals, and we've got the Fallen, so they're the unknown factor in this. Now, this is a triple threat match, of course. It means one fall to a finish. You need to be... There's a si senor from the fans to Merengue Warrior. I'm checking my teeth because we would need me in the face at one point. But, uh... Are you, uh, do you speak Spanish, Keith? I, I, can, I can communicate in Spanish. In fact, I learned Spanish by watching Lucha Libre from the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. It was broadcast here in New York on Channel 41 back in the 60s and 70s. That's very cool. 
Keith, you are a man of very many experiences and talents. And uh, there's the bell, and I want to introduce the fans officially. And Damian Darko gets tossed out. I am the ace, Dante Jace, along with Keith Elliott Greenberg. And this man has been all around the world. He's very experienced in all aspects of professional wrestling. This man actually co-wrote the WWE Encyclopedia, wrote for WWF Magazine for a great many years, and he's been around the ring. We're happy to have him here in LAW. Keith, I'm so glad you're here today. And I couldn't be happier. And as, as I mentioned to Donovan during the prior match, I'm also writing a book currently on indie wrestling. Oh. So I am right in the middle of the place I need to be. I love it. And uh, Keith, I'm sure that book is going to be great, just like all your other books. Now, the Fallen in here, like I said, they're an unknown factor here in Legendary Action Wrestling. So... Outside interference, not unlike what you experience in your life. Absolutely. I think these guys, some of these guys just know that they can't get the advantage fairly, so they need to cheat. If you notice, who is in this ring right now are Damian Darko, he's representing the normals, and Merengue Warrior. Looks like it may be a little bit of Merengue dancing, as well as the Cumbia, as well as the Salsa. Yes, that's his signature Merengue dance. And Merengue Warrior, Merengue Warrior with a drop kick, very nicely done. And, uh, oh, wait a second. There's an arm drag on the other member of the Fallen. And uh, what I was going to mention is that you see Jekyll on the outside. He is the partner of Damian Darko. And you also see Caleb Maravilla. He's the third member of the normal. So, again, three men out there on one team. Each of the other teams only have two, so they're already going to be at a disadvantage. But they're, they're, oh, look at this. I, oh, they're the plantain, uh, the, the plantain players seem to have a decided advantage as of now. Of course, we realize that can change. Absolutely. Uh, uh, another member of the normals takes in. Yes, he does, and that's Aramis La Paz. Aramis La Paz is a brawler and a military veteran. He's a hero here in, L in uh, LAW, former United States champion, and he's going for the tag team title gold right now tonight. But, oh, big slam, courtesy, um, or reminiscent, I should say, of the Big Boss Man. Were you uh, familiar with him, Keith? I was. I actually knew the Big Boss Man quite well. I wouldn't say we were great friends, but we were friends. And we always had very uh, civil conversations. He gave me a lot of insights about the wrestling business. And he would be honored to know that people are still paying tribute to him by executing his moves in center ring. Absolutely. From all accounts, a very great guy. And uh, it's, a, it's a bit sad, Keith, I would say, that there's so many nice power moves there. There's so many wrestlers from back in the day that have unfortunately passed away as as you see that nice spine buster executed by the fall and un, only a two count Moringa able to break it up. Um, who are who are some of your friends that have unfortunately passed, Keith? Well, Randy Macho Man Savage would be among the most prominent ones. I was fortunate after Randy's uh, death to interview his mother, who's since passed away. Ooh about the final days of Randy Macho Man Savage's life. And I was heartened to hear that he had spent a lot of quality time with his family, particularly his mother, after spending so many years on the road. Very sad. He was one of the all-time greats for sure. And you have the fallen member brawling with, uh, with Jekyll. And Jekyll! Jekyll with the standing shining wizard there. This could be it for the match. Goes for the cover. Only a two. So many people in there. It wasn't going to be one, two, three. No, not at all. But you're right, Keith. I mean, there's so many guys in here. It's hard to keep track. And uh, what do you think of Jekyll and Damian Darko? They're certainly unpredictable. They're unpredictable. I think the face paint throws their opponents off to a certain extent. You can't really read the facial expression, and as a result, you don't really know. 
what's coming at you. I think it throws people off psychologically. And as you know, in professional wrestling, the psychological advantage is sometimes as significant as the physical one. Absolutely, Keith. And there is the tag to the Meringue Warrior. Like you were saying, psychological advantage, another masked opponent. You never really know what he's thinking or planning. And what the, the advantage that Meringue Warrior has is he has the heart and soul of the fans on his side. So certainly the home court advantage, I believe, is with the plantain players. I think you're right. We're right here in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, New York. We've got a large Latino community here. And Merengue Warrior in control here tonight. Right, I'm noticing something on the outside. Uh-oh, that's Caleb Maravilla. He calls himself the last laugh. Oh, he rams that cane into the side of Aramis La Paz, catching him right in the ribs. See, that's despicable. Okay, but now what he's done is he successfully got him. He, he's drawn Merengue away. He's drawn Merengue away. And Merengue with the with the stick, but Jekyll and Damian Dargo taking advantage. There's two and three. That's it. The Normals retain the LAW Tag Team Championships. And the fans are expressing their dismay. The fans do not like this at all, Keith. I just want to sign off here. Thank you very much, Keith. We loved having you here tonight. I can't wait to come back. And let's keep an eye on the ring because this is far from over. It's not over yet, but your time here is over. Thank you, Keith. And Aramis La Paz taking it to Damian Darko. And Marengo, he's got the cane. Oh, smacks that cane. Looks like a heart attack. And my friend Donovan is back. I am indeed back, and yes, that was a heart attack. Well, we're glad to have you here, Donovan. And you know, uh, Merengue Warrior, Aramis La Paz, they may not have won the titles, but they absolutely put in a great showing. And the Normals won again by cheating. I think Plantain players absolutely should get a rematch at those titles. As should I at that life insurance championship. You saw that collusion. Uh, did I ever? Uh, me and Keith were sitting here just baffled at the. Uh, just miscarriage of justice to steal the phrase that uh, would happen. None of us saw Alfred Jr. doing what he did to me. But when we saw it, it was... Absolutely. But I'll tell you what, Donovan. It took a 400-pound Samoan, a former WWE star, for Mr. Ruta to hire to beat me. That's very true. So if I get him in that ring one-on-one -on -one again, he's going down, I guarantee it.